Thank you for stopping by the Random Green channel. Normally I don't do a video like this. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. Uh, but if you're just watching, that's good enough. So thank you, and I'll get started in, as you can tell by the title, it's going to be my thoughts in the NFL uh, playoffs. But it's going to be just this week. So I've decided to go over who I think is going to win, and not necessarily why, but just my predictions. We'll see. Kind of a spur of moment video I just wanted to do. So, Seattle and San Francisco. Seattle going to be, be playing at San Francisco. I think San Francisco will win. It's going to be. It's not going to be easy. None of these games are going to be easy, but. This is the game a lot of people don't think is going to be close. However, I think it's going to be closer than people think. Uh, again, another thing I wanted to say about if ESPN reporters can make billions predicting this, then why not a, a random person in middle America do a video on YouTube? Heck, why not? So, I should have said that before. I'm sorry. I got Sam just going to beat in Seattle. But it's Seattle will put up a fight in, in the first half. But I think San Francisco, they have too much of a good defense. Uh, and they have a decent offensive line. They got Kittle, they got McCaffrey, they got uh, Gosh darn it, I'm sorry. The names are just Debo Samuel, I think he's still playing. Yeah, Debo Samuel. Uh, George Brock Purdy's doing a good job. Um, they got a really good defensive line. They got good linebackers. They got, you know, and I think that's going to be one of the uh, tough teams to beat in the NFC. And uh, moving on, Los Angeles Chargers and Jacksonville Jaguars. I think the Chargers, I think this is one of the road teams I could that a lot of people are thinking that are going to do good. And I think the Los Angeles Chargers will beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, rookie quarterback versus um, kind of an experienced quarterback. Not, you know, he's only in his, Herbert's on his third year, I think. Anyway, I got, uh, and uh, Mike Williams, I think he's still with the Chargers, a uh, wide receiver. Uh, I think Keenan, is Keenan Allen still there? Gosh, I should, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Mike Williams will have a really big game. And, uh, yeah, the Chargers will move on. They'll be Jaguars. Miami and Buffalo. And there's another game that everybody thinks this is going to be a wide uh, disparity of points. Uh, I think Buffalo is going to win this game, but Miami's going to give them a closer game. Now, my prediction is this will come down to a field goal. This will be a tough game for, for Buffalo. Because just the emotions are on the high, obviously, at DeMar Hamlin. And thank goodness he's okay and he's good. Uh, and that's a relief, though. That's a relief. However, watch out for Miami in this one. Uh, I think the co head coach, Mikey Daniels, he's not the greatest uh, articulate speaker. Uh, kind of like me. I'm terrible at being articulate sometimes. Actually, most of the time. Actually, all the time. But Mikey Daniels. I think that's his name, yes. Mikey Daniels is a good coach. Uh, he doesn't, he's smarter than the way he talks and uh, he knows a lot about football. And, uh, no, heck, speaks better than the president. So, hmm. New York Giants at the Minnesota Vikings. I can't go against the Vikings. I know Kirk Cousins, uh, and they got the best receiver in the NFL on Justin Jefferson. At least top five, I think. He he puts up gaudy numbers. He puts up awesome numbers. Uh, will they beat the Giants? I think they will. I think they'll find a way. The Vikings can they can come back. Their team can come back. So without any lead, it's like when they played the Packers a couple weeks ago before the Packers blew that game against Detroit. You know, you know the story on that one. They were getting their butts whooped. 
and they still put up two touchdowns at the end. And I know it's you're saying, well, it's probably against the Packers' backups. In the NFL, it's still pretty impressive, though. They, they, you can't put this team away. You can't. This is one of the dark horses when it comes to the Super Bowl, I think. This will be a tough team. Uh, I think they're going to be ready. Uh, they have a, just enough on defense. Their defense isn't that great. But, however, I think uh, the Vikings will win this game. And uh, the Giants... Uh, it all depends on if 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 the Vikings contain Barkley. Uh, it really doesn't matter what Daniel Jones does. He's just a guy that's not going to be able to do it on his own. I don't think he like any team, like in any NFL team, not one player can just do it. But especially in offense, you know, you can't just you just need to have more. Uh, you need to have more talent when it comes to, uh, I don't know, like a lot of the receivers. I think uh, uh, out of the playoff teams, I would say the Giants don't have the best receiving. Maybe they put up good numbers. And uh, like I say, I'm not a, I haven't been really following the NFL. I mean, I've been following the NFL, but the Giants, I haven't really watched that much this year. I know they, uh, like I say, sometimes I forget their names. <laughs> Just like uh, Keenan Allen's and San, uh, was it Robert? Did say San Diego, Los Angeles Chargers? I think he's still playing. Mike Williams is still playing. I know that. I hope. Anyway, Vikings over Giants, Ravens and Bengals. Now, I'm going to take the Ravens in this one. I think this is going to be a tough game. A lot of people are going to say you're crazy with all Lamar Jackson. He's probably won't even play. Cincinnati's already beat him twice. It's hard to beat a team twice. This is an upset I'm going to call. I'm going to call the Ravens over the Bengals. I'm probably wrong, but hey, it's a prediction. Dallas Cowboys and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This will be a tough game, but I think Tampa Bay will find a way to win. I just cannot go against Brady and the Bucs. I can't. They have, a, they have a good defense, Tampa Bay, and I think they match up well with Dallas. I think Tampa Bay will win by a touchdown 27-20 or something like that. Like I say, he didn't do the scores or anything. Anyway, this is normally a video I don't do every once in a while. Every once in a while, I will do a video like this. And so just you watching is good enough. So don't have to, don't hit subscribe or anything. Don't do it. It's okay. Just as long as you are here to watch a second of this video, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.